All right, this morning we have a child dedication. So I'd like to introduce you to a family that you may or may not know. Rich and Jess, could you guys come on up here? Um, that's kind of a joke. Rich is one of the pastors here, so hopefully some of you know them. But uh, bad punchline, still learning, learning that one with the jokes. But uh, here's, here's Brecken, Brecken Spence, who was born March 25th back in uh, 2017. There's an ongoing joke here between Rich and I that he's not quite a baby, so this is a child dedication this morning. Um, but Rich, how about you introduce uh, this little guy? Right. Yeah, this is little Brecken. Uh, just a, a joy in our lives over the last year and a half. Um, an unexpected joy, as many of you know, um, our story. Nice little chuckle. If uh, you want to know more about what that laugh was about, talk to my wife, she'll fill you in. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Um, yeah, he is uh, an, an amazing little guy, and uh, we're just so thankful to have him in our life. He's a gift from God, one that uh, we didn't necessarily expect or anticipate, but uh, has just been a joy to uh, experience uh, four boys and uh, the challenges that come with uh, trying to raise and uh, control um, that environment. But uh, uh, that's why we need each other. That's why we need you guys. And uh, one, one passage that uh, I believe uh, we just desire to uh, have uh, shape our family is uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. And it says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. And I love this passage because it speaks of our identity as the people of God. And that is our desire as a family, that we would be a family that continues to uh, uh, proclaim the excellencies of the God who has called us. And uh, this little guy also has been a reminder of that, that phrase that says that, that we are God's possession. And uh, he is a reminder to us daily that we are not our own, that uh, even amidst our plans and what we thought might, uh, that our family might have been finished and done, uh, God brought this little guy in just to let us know that uh, his plans and purposes are far better than what we could come up with on our own. And so we've been uh, called to embrace his purposes, his, his ways, and it's been a joy every day to recognize that in this little guy. And uh, I'm just so thankful to be able to be here and, and to be able to um, kind of dedicate this little guy with you all and uh, we need each other and we need this family and I'm so thankful for the family that God has brought uh, around us over the years that has supported us has cared for us encouraged us in the challenge of, of raising these four boys that God's given to us as a gift and so um, it is our joy to be here today as we seek to uh, uh, declare and commit to seek to raise these children to know and love Jesus Christ that's great um... Rich, as you were sharing, I was reminded of Proverbs 16.9. Uh, it says, in his heart, a man makes his plans, but the Lord directs his steps. And obviously, with Brecken, the Lord has directed more than just your steps back together. Um, but uh, it's, it's been a joy. Yeah, there you go. It's been a joy to see <laughs> uh, just how you guys have responded. I mean, I just remember the, the day that you guys announced to Michelle and I that you guys were pregnant, and I was just like, you, you're joking, right? Like, um, but it, it was a hard season, and it was an une unexpected season. Um, but over the last two years, it's just been incredible, and it's been an encouragement to my heart, to Michelle's heart, as well as the rest of our church to see how you have embraced this little guy as the gift uh, that, that he truly is to your family. So, so let's, let's move forward with the dedication. Uh, for those of you who maybe have never seen a dedication here, uh, stick around. Uh, we'll, we'll probably be doing another one next week because we have so many little children here in this church. But how we do them here is uh, we ask Rich and Jess to continue to affirm and remember their marriage covenant as well as to affirm their primary role in raising these children in the ways of the Lord. And then I'll call upon you, the church, to come alongside and help this brother and this sister to raise this little guy in the grace found only in Jesus Christ. So here we go. Rich and Jess, uh, in light of the marriage commitment and covenant that you made so many years ago, 11 years, is that right? 12. Ooh, man, getting up there. <laughs> uh, do you continue to uh, prioritize not only your relationship with the Lord, but your relationship with one another? Awesome. And do you commit to raising your children in the ways of the Lord as the primary disciple makers in your home? Well, 
All right. And the Crossing Church, do you commit to coming alongside Rich and Jess and helping them raise Brecken as well as their other three boys in the ways of the Lord? Awesome. I'll have you guys step down here. We're going to pray for them. So if you uh, family, friends, uh, life group folks, if, if you'd like to come up uh, and put a hand on them, feel free to come forward now. All right, let's pray. Father in heaven, uh, it's a joy to gather with your people. Uh, It's a joy to see how you orchestrate steps, how you orchestrate families, how you orchestrate churches. And Lord, we thank you for the season that you have brought Rich and Jess through. We thank you for the gift of these three boys and specifically the gift of Brecken. Lord, we ask just that you would give them grace, that you would help them to remember that you have sovereignly ordained this little guy to be brought into their family. Lord, we pray just that our church would come alongside them and encourage them. But Lord, mostly we pray for Brecken. We pray that you would draw him to yourself that you would give him a new heart at a young age, a heart that is soft, a heart that wants to follow you. And Lord, above all else, would we see someday that you give faith to this little guy and would you get the glory. Lord, we're, we're thankful for the process that you have in raising children. And Lord, we just pray from this day forward, would you help Rich and Jess with these four boys. In Jesus' name, amen. All right.